We have a brand new aftermarket part inside of Modern Warfare Zombies and I decided to hop in and check it out today. I haven't used it yet, but it is for the KVD, wait, yeah, KVD Enforcer gun. I do believe that's what it's called. And if we go right back to the conversion kit called the Jack Volk, that's, that's its name. It gives you a hyper burst, which I'm very interested in because I have no idea what it does. Some recoil control, gun kick control, flinch resistance, and then a bunch of negatives, which are fire rate decrease, sprint to fire speed decrease, aim down sight speed, and lastly, bullet velocity. Overall, from what I remember, marksman rifles were pretty meh one for zombies so without further ado we're gonna hop in uh if you look over here we're gonna test it out with legendary ether tool and a flawless ethereum crystal but firstly we're gonna check it out with epic ether tool and a raw crystal just to check it out in different tiers and see how it does without further ado let's get right into it okay and here we are something else that i didn't say i guess is i put on some attachments onto it like a site and some other things but let me put on my perks first and let's check it out what does it do oh it becomes a burst, a three shot burst that doesn't want, whoa, 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 my trigger is way too sensitive on my controller. It might or it might not be broken. So basically a little tap makes it shoot, but it doesn't one shot. If you shoot the body in tier one, that's already a big fat L. I'm curious if it becomes like fully automatic when I pack a bunch of it. So I guess let's just put this on and check it out. Ah! Ah, it does very fascinating okay this could actually change a bit of stuff surprisingly it could be a really good thing that maybe it would become really overpowered if we hop into like other tiers and specifically tier three with the full pack a bunch and gold rarity okay now we're in tier two i'm gonna try to there we go we hunted out some zombies uh, i'm still gonna use like no rarity on it just the pack a bunch Oh my god, this thing is really good on headshots. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so, Pack-a-Punch level 1. <laughs> no rarity on it. It's able to do pretty solid in tier 1 headshot-wise. Which, obviously, if you're playing zombies and not going for headshots, what are you doing? It's like the main thing that every single player that I feel like, at least, that plays zombies does that. I am currently very impressed with this because it's, like, gray default rarity and it's taking down the zombies pretty easily now i can't find any okay hellhound wise i mean i think it's mm, it's because it just makes the normal gun that this is which marksman rifles are bad but are also strong to a certain extent and then just changes it to fully automatic well if my aim isn't awful i'm really curious what it i mean body wise it isn't the best but like oh what the hell is happening in this little corner right there? I'm just curious what it will do if I put the purple on. So let's check it out. I, I don't even have to have the gun pack a punch level 2. I mean, purple rarity, you know. Purple rarity does some stuff to a weapon. But this, this seems pretty wild right now to me. Pers like, what? Okay, I am so intrigued right now. It, it makes it fun. It makes it, like, satisfying to shoot my weapon. What? Okay, so now we know what purple rarity and pack a punch one does in tier two i kind of actually i i slightly regret putting on purple rarity because now i want to hop into tier three and see what at least this version does and i'm now curious what the pack a punch no rarity would have at least done inside of tier three because if it would have destroyed the zombies there my god oh that's a tier two this should be a tier three i mean okay no i'm not gonna say oh it does pretty good that was okay. It wasn't crazy. It definitely doesn't do an incredible job. It, it, it impressed me more inside of tier two, but it is tier two. Okay, relax, tier three zombie. Okay, what is happening? What is this meetup? Oh, also something I forgot to mention is I put on like an extended magazine. So maybe that's another like thing that you'd want to put on just to have more ammo. I have attracted way too, too many zombies from tier three right now. Doesn't do too bad, but that's because again, way more chill around here okay now that they've calmed down let's slap on the basic like just the most powerful version of the gun right now so there we go gold rarity back up at level three let's zip on over to tier three and see because if it does kill zombies like the ones in tier two this is definitely on a consideration weapon that i would be intrigued i guess to use oh my god 
It's it's like they're tier one. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm actually very impressed. What does it do on a disciple? I mean, this is okay. So I haven't like fully. Okay, relax, 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 relax. I can't <laughs> reload. Oh my. God. God, they're just as fast as ever. What I was going to say is I haven't been fully keeping up with zombies, but I have been playing a lot of Modern Warfare Z over these past few days. Like, a lot. I've been using normal weapons, or these weapons that I find off the ground, so I know this is a very interesting weapon. I don't want to overhype it. I don't want to be like, OMG, greatest weapon ever, but this is pretty freaking good. What the hell? I'm happy, you know? I am actually happy that a weapon... Ooh, let's go test out a boss. A weapon that is a weekly weapon isn't just kind of meh. It's actually impressive inside of zombies because it becomes fully automatic when you pack a bunch of So getting to run around tier three with this thing, I am noticing a lot of stuff. It might be destroying these zombies, but it does not slow them down. <laughs> no, it does not. Um, which is kind of ironic to say that because it's destroying them but it's not slowing them down is in destroying them should be slowing down blah 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 you know what shut up brain I'm talking to myself right now well, the entire video is just me talking to myself another day another oh my god i just put on armor plates piss off satisfying to get headshot kills very satisfying i'm also curious if the hyper burst or whatever you want to call it uh the, the is the thing that made it a triple burst I'm going to assume yes. Hmm. I just noticed in the like right corner it, where the ammo is. It looks like a sniper bullet. Is this thing so powerful because it essentially has sniper ammo? Alright, let's see what we get. If it's a mega abomination, I'm going to hate my life. Because even if this thing is insane on it, I'm going to have a pain in the ass. Oh, it's a mangler. Fascinating. <gasps> yeah, it's very good. Mangusi, I'm coming for you. What? The power of my Blythe killed it, right? That's why... Or sorry, no, no, no. It's the power of this weapon. You see? You're gonna get easy contracts. Easy. Oh! Anyway, you're gonna get easy contracts with this. It's just gonna finish them for you. Check out this bad boy. Sometimes when I make videos like about weapons and I'm like, Oh my god, this is so good. You should definitely try it out. I feel like I'm... Like I'm promoting it, like I'm advertising a freaking thing. It's up to your own interpretation. Use the weapon if you want. This is just a video of me being like content. I haven't uploaded something in a while. Also, if you're wondering of a good way of uh, unlocking it, like how to do it, I recommend doing multiplayer. Uh, even if you're not a multiplayer gamer. Oh, 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 oh. It's not looking too good. Okay. Uh, I'm not a good multiplayer gamer, but it is honestly so freaking easy to unlock it on there. Just because you can, like, play games super fast and it's just, like, get 15 kills or something. Okay, it's not really doing anything ridiculously special on the Mega, so we're just gonna back up because I am in no mood to lose another self-revive to it. And, um, yeah, at the end of the day, this was just supposed to be a video where I hop in and test it out in different tiers. And I feel like I've already went for long enough. There's not much more to say. Use it if you want to. Don't use it if you don't want to. If you think if it's worth unlocking right now or waiting, I guess, till like maybe the last week to unlock that camel that we get for free. I think it is worth it. It's pretty sick nasty. It's really fun to use. Satisfying. And the fact that you just need to pack a punch level one to do really good inside of tier 2, that is like a very, very, very good thing in my opinion because that just makes it more like, oh, so I don't have to like rely on getting crystals and if you have your 5,000 points at the beginning, just go up and pack a bunch of ones and then you can run around at least tier 2 to complete contracts. That is really good if you ask me. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go exfil or play out this game. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. It's t t every single time I make one of these videos, I just want to go edit as fast as possible. So, yeah. When I did a face cam. I haven't done one of these in a while. Very long time. But you know what? We're experimenting, ladies and gentlemen. Because why not? Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I know that the videos on this channel have been really all over the place. It's either 
zombies or multiverses and you know what we're back to zombies baby because i can never escape call of duty so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one which will probably be a zombies video in some way peace out